Now, good day, 12 degrees at 733. Good morning, everyone. Paramedics taking 17 people to hospital this weekend for alcohol and drug overdoses during the two-day Chasing Summer Music Festival at Fort Calgary. Paramedics transporting 10 women and 7 men ranging in age from 18 to their mid-30s on Friday and Saturday night. One woman in her early 30s in life-threatening condition after taking what's believed to be tainted ecstasy. Of the 16 other people, five were rushed to hospital in serious condition, 11 in stable condition. Uh, paramedics say in most cases, the people had been drinking and took at least one type of drug, if not more. A total of 16 drug overdoses, including six in just one hour. That's what's been reported in Vancouver. Fentanyl is the suspected culprit. Vancouver police say they handled six overdoses between 7.30 and 8.30 last night. Police say drug users believe the pink color drug they had bought was heroin. They did not know it contained other toxic chemicals. The additional substance is being tested right now, but fentanyl is suspected and drug users are being told to be extremely cautious right now. Fentanyl, of course, is a powerful opioid and it have recently linked to the outbreak of overdose deaths in Western Canada as well. South of the border in Ferguson, Missouri, a man is in critical condition wounded by police on the one year anniversary of the death of an 18 year old unarmed black man killed by a white police officer. St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmer says officers started tracking a man last night. Shots rang out uh, during a protest marking the anniversary of Michael Brown's death. Police say the man approached the officers. They were parked in an unmarked police van. He opened fire. The officers shot back and then pursued the man on foot. He engaged the uh, officers at the time. There were four officers who were in that van. All four fired at the suspect and the suspect uh, fell there. Suspect is in a local hospital. He is in critical, unstable condition in surgery. There are reports the man shot is 18 years of age and is now out of surgery. None of the officers involved are seriously hurt. All four officers have been put on standard administrative leave. The police chief says the officers were not wearing body cameras at the time. Overseas, an attack today on the U.S. consulate in Istanbul, Turkey, was carried out by two women, one of whom has been captured. Armed police cordoning off the area near the American consulate following a gun battle. Witnesses say officers then tracked down the suspect very quickly. There are reports the 51-year-old woman had served prison time for being a suspected member of the far leftist revolutionary People's Liberation Army Front. The group is anti-American and is listed as a terrorist organization by the United States and by Turkey. A power plant operator in Japan says it will restart a reactor today, or excuse me, tomorrow in the southern part of the country. This is the first restart under new safety requirements following the Fukushima disaster a few years ago. Kyushu Electric Power says it will restart the number one reactor at its Sendai nuclear plant. The restart marks Japan's return to nuclear energy, breaking a four and a half year nuclear power impasse since the 2011 meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear power plant following that devastating earthquake and tsunami.